Hello Colors and welcome back to Viva Barca, the home of everything Barca, where we are going to be discussing on some two fresh updates for FC Barcelona as usual. Starting with this report claiming that Barcelona are still eyeing Portuguese midfielder Renato Sanchez. Of course, even though the rumors have died down of late, the reports are claiming that Renato Sanchez is still one of Barcelona's priorities. We are going to be discussing much on that as we move ahead then secondly we are going to be talking about chelsea defender antonio rudiger as recent reports are claiming that barcelona are still interested and they are looking at rudiger as a replacement in the future for pk we are going to be discussing much about that as well so guys as we get ready to discuss those stories in much detail please make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed give this video a like and make sure to watch this video right up to the very end Barca, Barca, Barca. back in the summer barcelona made an attempt to secure the signing of renato sanchez from lille the portuguese international was close to completing a move before an injury put pay to his hopes of joining barca so with the january transfer window open this portuguese outlet 11 portugal is now reporting that barca have rekindled their interest in sanchez and made him one of their priority signings Having burst onto the scene at uh, Benfica, Sanchez quickly became one of the most sought after young midfielders in Europe about half a decade ago. A high profile move to Bayern Munich followed, but it turned out to be a huge disaster. The Portuguese midfielder made his way to Lille in 2019 and has been able to rekindle his career since. He played a key role in their surprise title triumph last season and made an impression during Portugal's short stay in the UEFA Euro 2020 last year. It helped him put himself back on the map as top clubs started to circle again to sign him up. Barcelona were one of those interested parties. The 24-year-old admitted recently that he was very close to sealing a switch to Barca, but the move fell through because of his injury. Having stayed put in France, he has featured 17 times in all competitions this season, producing a tally of one goal and an assist each. Barcelona have been linked, of course, with midfielders of a robust box-to-box -box profile of late, with Barcelona being credited with an interest in Denis Zakaria of Borussia Mönchengladbach, Liverpool's Naby Keita and now Sanchez. Even though Xavi has a plethora of options at his disposal in the middle of the park, none of them provide the same qualities that the Portuguese international brings to the field and with 18 months left on his contract it will be interesting to see if Barcelona decide to go after him this month itself or decide to wait till the summer when he will be entering the final year of his deal with Lille. Then on to the next story of discussion. In less than a month, Gerard Piquet will be turning 35 years old. The veteran defender has firmly established himself as a legend at Barcelona but has been showing some signs of slowing down. While he is very much capable of putting in masterclass displays like the one against Mallorca every now and then, there is a general feeling that he is fast approaching the final days of his career. Given that and Barcelona's need to trim down the wage bill, there have been talks of a potential retirement for Piquet at the end of the season. Gerard Piquet made it clear that he will retire at the Camp Nou. Of course, Piquet had also indicated that he would be willing to step down if he or the manager felt he was not adding value to the team. The final call on this situation is expected to be taken at the end of the season. With Samuel Umtiti also expected to be way out in the near future, Barcelona will need to bring in defensive reinforcements in the summer and El Nacional reports that Barcelona have set their sights on Antonio Rudiger of Chelsea as a long-term successor to Piquet. The German international has been in fine form since 2021 and is one of the best defenders in Europe on current form. Set to run down his contract in the summer, the Chelsea star has been linked with a move to Real Madrid as well. However, Barca have also now entered the picture and are willing to sign him on a Bosman deal. The report mentions that the former AS Roma center half is demanding a salary of around 12 million euros per year, which is four times what he's currently making at Chelsea. It has been the main sticking point in talks of an extension with the Blues not progressing and Real Madrid are willing to match that figure. Barcelona's financial situation makes it very difficult for them to shell out such a big pay packet. 
However, the report adds that Barcelona would be able to meet those demands if they were to get rid of Piqué and Umtiti's wages from the books. Any move, however, would depend on whether Gerard Piqué decides to hang up his boots. So, colors, with that, we come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Hope you did enjoy the video and also hope you did subscribe. If you haven't, please make sure to do so so you always stay up to date with the latest on FC Barcelona here on Viva Barca. Until next time, bye-bye.